Agora TV. The world is thinking. Literally, the, the, the evening I'm out there, at the minute we drop anchor to start this research, the gulf goes off. We didn't even know it. We didn't know it for days because we were out there. And exactly what is being hit the hardest in the gulf is that deep scattering layer. And the reason is because BP has not just allowed the oil to do what oil would have done, which is float to the surface where it could have been skimmed or scooped relatively easily. I mean, it's still going to be a mess. But you have what in the, the business is known as a point source pollution. It's coming from one place. You know where it is. You know what to do with it. It's all going to float. You could get enough boats out there. No. What have they done? They hit it with dispersant at the source, 5,000 feet deep on the seabed. They've now turned it into non-point source pollution. It's now di diffuse. It's, it's neutrally buoyant. It's not going to ever maybe come up. And oil is toxic to most life. The dispersant is toxic to most life. The most toxic thing of all is oil that's been treated with dispersant. Mm -hmm. And we now have hundreds of millions of gallons of that floating around out there basically poisoning this whole huge foundational mass of life. And why, that's a whole other issue, but um, needless to say, when I realized that what was going to be hit was stuff I felt I could talk about that most people don't even know about. It's so much more than the pelicans in the thick, gunky oil, even though that's incredibly heartbreaking and you know, horrible and inexcusable. It's literally the tip of what I call the oil berg, because what's going on is what's in the deep, deep. So is it going to struggle out the planet? Well, the computer models are all showing it circulating in the Gulf, in the loop current, and then working its way through about October, a lot of them are forecasting, the Straits of Florida, at which point it flies up the Gulf Stream so fast you can't even believe it, and just spits its way over to Europe. And now the hope is that if they can cap it reasonably soon, which I don't have a whole lot of confidence, but I, I, I hope, you know, without much confidence, I do hope that they'll be able to do that. By the time it gets into the Atlantic system, maybe hopefully it will be dispersed enough that it might not have too much of an impact. If, you know, if there is the worst case scenario that really does come to bear, which is almost intolerable to even imagine, which is that the whole seafloor is shattered and the leak is uncontainable, and it's been estimated that there's 200 and I think 52 billion gallons of oil in that reservoir, which will probably leak for years, if not decades. Um, so, hopefully, that isn't the case. But if that is the case, the Gulf will be probably ruined, almost certainly ruined. And I honestly think it would have an enormous impact on the North Atlantic.